Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out the latest optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10, which they pushed out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 25th of March. Now, once again, the update is optional, so you don't have to install it. And as I always say with optional updates, only install these preview updates that roll out near the end of the month if you are experiencing any issues with your system else just ignore the update because it most of the fixes will be carried over into the patch tuesday update rolling out in the following month on the second tuesday now the update for this month is kb5053643 and is a non-security bug fix update now, Microsoft has listed a highlight for the update, where the update provides note to CJK, which is Chinese, Japanese, and Korean fonts in Windows. That's the highlight, according to Microsoft, for this update. And then, because it is a bug fix update, there are one, two, three, four, five, six bugs that have been fixed. So I'm just going to mention all of these because it's really a minor update at the end of the day. Now, the first improvement Microsoft says is that they have updated the mobile operator profiles where country and operator settings asset profiles are updated. And then there is a thumbnail fix, which I think is quite important if you were experiencing any issues with your thumbnails. Where Microsoft says thumbnails in File Explorer may crash resulting in white pages appearing instead of the actual thumbnail. So... That's a crash fix, so that is an important fix. And then the update enables system processes to store temporary files in a secure directory, which Microsoft says reduces the risk of unauthorized access. So that's a bit of an under the hood security adjustment. And by the way, if you are concerned that you won't be able to get access and delete your temporary files, you will still be able to delete temporary files. And then there's a fix for remote desktop where certain get help troubleshooters might not run in a remote desktop session. And then the update introduces important support in Windows Search for the European economic area, including increased discoverability. And yes, and another important fix the update um, addresses where, where there is a fix for a known issue where USB connected dual mode printers that support both USB print and RPP over USB protocols might unexpectedly output incorrect or unwanted text. So that's a known issue that has been addressed with this latest update 5053643. So if you did experience that issue, then make sure you get the update installed sooner than later. And then over and above that, they have made improvements to the servicing stack, which improves the reliability of the update process to mitigate potential issues while installing updates. And those servicing stack updates are common with most of these optional updates that do roll out near, near and towards the end of every month. And if you do decide to install the update, just to head over to Winver to see about Windows. And... After the update has been installed, Windows 10 version 22H2, the OS build will be sitting on 19045.5679. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.